Hi, Dr. Keith Forworth coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. So the next topic I want to talk about is what can go wrong with the thyroid. And typically there are two basic states that we look at. One where the thyroid gland is overactive and one where the thyroid gland is underactive. So we mentioned in the last segment that thyroid function is controlled by thyroid stimulating hormone. And if you look at the labs on thyroid stimulating hormones, the typical values that most labs would say are normal go between 0.5 and 4.5. Now, I'll get into a later video that I don't think that that's a great range to use and we'll talk more specifically, but for now, what I want to get across is that on this scale, that when TSH is low, the brain is thinking, well, there's not a shortage of thyroid hormones, so we don't need to stimulate it. And so on this end of the spectrum, what we find is hyperthyroidism or too much thyroid hormone. On the other end, we find the opposite status, hypo. Okay, hypo means low, and hypothyroid means that there's not enough thyroid hormone floating around in your system. And so the brain's response to it is the pituitary gland will secrete more and more thyroid stimulating hormone in order to try to get more thyroid hormone on board. So the monitoring system, when the body says that we need more thyroid hormone, our thyroid hormone is low, then it makes more TSH, okay? And so even though it's a higher number, higher TSH means that you're low on your thyroid. And of course, just the opposite. If there's lots of thyroid hormone on board and the brain thinks we don't need any more, then it will slow down the production of TSH. And in fact, in people who are very hyperthyroid, you'll find that that TSH goes down to near zero. Now, there are two basic conditions that are very, very common on both ends of this spectrum. The most common thyroid disease in all of America is hypothyroidism, and the most common form of that is something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that's named after a Japanese doctor. Hashimoto's thyroiditis is super common, and when you see it, you'll see that the TSH number is well above normal. In a subsequent video, we're gonna talk about, well, how abnormal does it have to be? And what can we do about Hashimoto's? But right now we're just covering the basics. The hyperthyroid state, the most common reason that you might have hyperthyroidism is something called Graves disease. Graves disease is an autoantibody disease and it causes the thyroid to overproduce thyroid hormone. And when you're overproducing the hormone, the TSH will fall. So. Both of these conditions are antibody conditions, but one of them, when it makes hormones, binds to the thyroid gland and shuts it off. That's Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The other one makes an antibodies to the thyroid hormone and it turns it on, and that's Graves' disease, the most common reason to have an overactive thyroid gland. Now, there are other reasons to have an overactive thyroid gland, and we'll cover that in subsequent videos. Stay tuned for more videos. They'll be coming forth with more detailed videos on all of these different subjects. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to the channel and then you'll get notified if you hit that bell icon when more videos are coming out. Feel free to leave comments below. I can't answer any specific medical questions that you might have, but I'd love to hear suggestions on what you'd like to see in further videos. Remember that these videos are for educational purposes. They're not to give specific medical advice. That's your doctor's job. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you found them educational. 